Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. A very merry Beatly Christmas to you all. I hope you're doing okay, keeping nice and safe. Now yesterday was the 50th anniversary of the release of the Concert for Bangladesh album. So in this video we're going to be looking back at that album and the concert and celebrating its 50th birthday. So if you ask me, hey Beatley Tone, what would you really love for Christmas? My answer would be, if you're new to the channel, please just hit the subscribe button by clicking the button over there. That would really help the channel grow. And just as important as that, if you give the, the like button a click, that would also be amazing because the last video got less likes than the Instagram post of Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump in their speedos. So if you could see your way clear to spending just a fraction of a second clicking the thumbs up, that would help the channel grow. What it does is the more likes you get, the more people's home pages on YouTube the video lands on. So that would really help the channel a lot. And I would love you a long time and you would feel so good about yourselves. So how did the concert for Bangladesh come about? And if you don't know the history, uh, here comes the history lesson. So take notes because I'll be asking questions at the end. So the country of Pakistan is a very strange country because it was split into West Pakistan and East Pakistan. And they were a thousand miles apart across the Indian countryside. So West Pakistan was obviously on the west side of India. East Pakistan was on the east. West Pakistan was a mainly Muslim area and East Pakistan was a, a Bengali area. Now, in West Pakistan, in 1969, a guy called General Yahya Khan, not Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, but Yahya Khan, he called a general election, and he, because he wanted to end the dictatorship there and have a more uh, democratic society. Um, but it all went wrong for him, because in the general election, the people's... Uh, Democratic Party of Bangladesh won by a landslide. So old Chaka or Yaya, uh, he wasn't happy about this so basically there was a, a war. So the military went into Bangladesh and there was a, a huge genocide. Millions of people were killed and what happened was that because of that mil millions of people that survived then left Bangladesh and became refugees in India and there, there were so many of them that the Indian authorities they couldn't cope with it there was outbreaks of cholera and starvation and they couldn't get enough people inoculated against cholera so lots of people died. Meanwhile in sunny California George Harrison and Ravi Shankar are doing the music for a film called Raga and Ravi Shankar uh, spoke to George Harrison, told him about it, and George was very moved by what was going on there and wanted to do something about it. So he came up with this idea of this huge benefit concert. We should never underestimate uh, how important the concert for Bangladesh was because it was really the first of its kind. So without the concert for Bangladesh, there's no live aid, no Live A or any other benefit concert that has ever happened since. So very important. So what I'll do is I'm going to tell the story of the concert through the pictures that are in the book that comes with, with the album. But I'll show you my vinyl. And that's, that's it. Absolutely battered. Uh, I remember the exact day when I got this. It was my 16th birthday in 1977 when I told my parents that I wanted records for my birthday. So my dad took me to a record shop and said, go and get what you want. Well, he didn't, he didn't say it in that voice because he didn't speak like that. But that was just me making the differential between me and my dad. Anyway, so he didn't actually say go and get what you want. What he actually said was, Go and choose what you want and I'll tell you when to stop. So because, you know, there was albums that I wanted that I couldn't 
possibly save my pocket money to get because they were really expensive. I went for like double and triple albums, so I got this and I got All Things Must Pass and I got Some Time in New York City, which was a double album. So I'll show you the vinyl. Now, there's something very strange about the vinyl. So comes in the each album comes in this sort of a papery brown papery in a sleeve. Now what you get on one side of the album you've got side one but what's on the other side? I don't know if you can see that. Side six very strange. Go on, ask me. Ask me why it's got side one and side six. Hey, Beatley Taylor, why is it got one side one and side six? Well, the answer is I haven't got a clue. I've no idea. No idea. But consequently, you get one album which is uh, perfectly fine because it's got side three on one side and side four on the other. And then the third album, third record, shall I say, has got side two. And obviously, on the back, it's got side five. Very strange indeed. But apparently it wasn't a mispressing or anything like that. I think that most copies Oh, if not all of them, were like that. So the concert took place on the 1st of August 1971 at Madison Square Gardens in New York City. There were two shows, one in the afternoon and one in the evening. So George rounded up his friends and asked them if they would come and play in this concert. So we have uh, Eric Clapton, Klaus Vormann, Ringo, Leon Russell, Bob Dylan, All of Badfinger, uh, Jesse Ed Davis, Don Preston out of the Leon Russell Band. Uh, have I forgotten anyone? Oh, I've forgotten Billy Preston. And if you've got the album, you'll get that joke. Oh, I will say, actually, one thing I will say is that Paul apparently was asked but decided that it wouldn't be a good idea as the Beatles had just split up and so was John and John had agreed uh, to play it and when he turned up at the rehearsal he said what would you like Yoko to do and George said apparently he said I'd like her to sit in the front row and enjoy the show and John took umbrage to that and off he went so he didn't he didn't play so, here is the booklet. Book, I hate the word booklet. Is there a more un-rock and roll word than booklet? There isn't. This is the book that kind of comes with the album. So there's there's the uh, there's the map where I was, what I was talking about, where you've got West Pakistan on one side, East Pakistan on the other. And you've got the, the cast, all the, all the tracks. It doesn't list everyone that plays on every song. There was a huge amount of musicians on here. There's George uh, introducing Ravi Shankar. So the first, the first part of the show was the Indian music section, which was the serious section where the crowd were asked not to smoke during it. They performed this piece called uh, Bangladan. Ravi and his musicians. There's quite a few pages dedicated to the Indian section as you would expect uh, for the concert for Bangladesh. The pictures in this book really are superb. That's uh, Ravi ending his set applauding the crowd. And then we have um, some pictures of the disaster uh, to remind everyone why they bought the album and why the concert took place in the first place. And there's George. So George starts off the, the rock section of the concert 
uh, with Wah Wah. And the track Wah Wah uh, on this on this record is um, it's not great. Uh, George's voice, you can barely hear it. it. Sounds as if they were just sort of, you know, sorting out the uh, the sound, and they haven't quite got it right yet. Picture of uh, Eric Clapton over here, looking slightly chubby and uh, somewhat heroin withdrawal. Lovely picture of George over here in the shadow of the lights, fantastic picture. And in the middle there, the, a plethora of uh, backing singers that were used for the concert. And we have uh, a waiting on your great picture there of George and Eric. Uh, Eric with a ciggy hanging out of his mouth. And also a great picture there of the two drum. I forgot to mention Jim Keltner as the uh, second drummer when I, I went through the cast as Ringo. Great picture there from behind Ringo and J Jim Keltner. Here we have the happiest man in the world, Billy Preston, who did That's the Way God Planned It, which was his hit of the time. Great pictures of him there. What a great pose that is, that middle, that middle one. He's such a happy fella. And uh, here's our boy Ringo, who did It Don't Come Easy. He got the words wrong, but it didn't really matter. There's a couple of pictures of him there. And that face there of anguish, that's the face that says, I've just got the words wrong. To my own song. Beautiful picture there of George doing Beware of Darkness. And that picture at the bottom there, that's Leon Russell, who shared the lead vocal of that song and did a fine job. This was the introduction of the band. Uh, there's Klaus Vormann there in the middle, Billy Preston at the top. There's Carl Radel over here and Jesse Ed Davis here and the singers there. There's the picture of George doing the introduction. My Guitar Gently Weeps uh, with uh, Eric Clapton, as you would expect. Some nice pictures there, but he doesn't look great, does he? The story goes that you know he was he was he was coming off heroin at the time, and uh, he sent his girlfriend out onto the streets to get him some uncut heroin, but she couldn't manage it, so he, he had to make do with methadone. Right, this is the good bit. Jumping Jack Flash, Leon Russell. One of my favourite songs on the whole album was a medley of Jumping Jack Flash and Young, Young Blood, where Leon Russell took lead vocals. And uh, look at that picture, is that fantastic? Look at that hair, fantastic, fantastic. And what a, a, a great song it was. Really, br really brilliant version of both of both songs. Really, really good. And that, look at that pout. That, that is a rock pout, if ever you saw one. And that's a really nice picture. There are some fantastic pictures in this book. Here comes the sun with Bad Finger. And then uh, Bob Dylan. When he said, when George uh, announced Bob Dylan, it, there was a lot of that doubt of whether Bob was going to do this or not because he hadn't been on stage for uh, for a while. When George announced, uh, like to bring our friend of, friend of us all, Mr. Bob Dylan, he didn't know for sure whether Bob was actually going to come out, but he did, and he delivered a fine set. Hard rain's going to fall. He didn't do any of his sort of current current stuff. Uh, I think New Morning was the the, the latest album. Um, but he did he did all old songs, harmonica the lot. This is a great picture from behind Bob as well. His Bobness. It's a great picture there of a bit of interaction between George and uh, Bob. When Bob did did his set, it was just um, the four of them. It was George on electric guitar, Bob on acoustic guitar, vocals and harmonica. Leon Russell played bass on Bob Dylan's set and Ringo played tambourine. 
some really great pictures of Bob Dylan in this book. And there he is, very relieved that it's all over. <laughs> and that's a great picture, uh, this one here. If you can see that, of, uh, of George, Bob and Leon Russell close together. And then the concert finished off with uh, George doing something. I'll show you that picture because that's good. That is a good one. Look at that. Look at that face. He's totally lost in that song. And the set finished off with the, the single Bangladesh. On the back of the book, there's a picture of the uh, of the check there. I don't know if you can see that. The check of the money that was raised is about two hundred and forty odd thousand dollars. And then a, the, a, a really great image, uh, which kind of summed it up, a guitar case with some of the aid inside it. Um, they raised the, the concerts raised about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but. By the time the film had come out and the and the album sales, they read something something like about so I think to date because the money still goes to UNICEF from this album. I think it's something like twelve twelve million dollars. So do tell me down in the comments below what you think of the album or the concert if you've seen the film. Were, were any of my subscribers? Were any of you actually there? If you were there. We really want to hear from you, so do tell us about your experience if you were actually at the concert. Um, I'll show you some of the other iterations of the album that I've got. Um, in 2005, a remix CD came out, different cover. Uh, as I say, it was remixed, and the sound is much improved on the vinyl on this uh, on this CD. But I don't think they brought out a vinyl version, a remixed version. So I would really like to have a new vinyl box set with the uh, the remixed music. You've got a replica of the book which I will allow to be called a booklet. Uh, it's not quite the same as the as the one that came with the record. There are a few different pictures in here and some text and stuff that's over the top of the pictures which were different something like, like that. So some of the pictures are are different. Uh, in here, and the CDs they kind of replicate replicated the the album labels, so that's just the same. Then also in two thousand and five, we got a uh, a deluxe DVD of the film, and this is quite a nice package. We've got the um, I'll just show you this the little motive inside the the box which is actually in the CD as well of the original cover but you've got some extra stuff with this you've got a, <clears throat> an Apple sticker you've got some postcards a little thing to keep them neat and tidy in so I'll just show you these the cover Oops. Ravi George, Billy, Richie, Eric, Leon, his Bobness. His Bobness Band, George again, and that's a lot. We've also got a re reprint from I Me Mine of the lyrics to Bangladesh, the song, and the promotional poster for the film, which I'll open up and show you. If I can. Uh, Get my chubby little fingers around it. George Harrison and Friends. Two performances, Sunday, August 1st, 2.30 and 8 p.m. 
No refunds and tickets limited to four per person. DVD did come with another version of the book. Uh, it, did, it does have some stuff in it that, that wasn't in the, uh, the original. I'm not going to go through it all again. Good pictures in there. There's a little one there of a, uh, of a rehearsal. I have to remember this concert was put together very quickly indeed where you know when you think about that it's the you know the first of its kind and bringing to, together lots of other musicians that were you know you know Leon Russell interrupted his tour, his current tour to to be be there and uh, they didn't have much rehearsal time I think they only managed to to re they they rehearsed in you know a few people at a time but I think they the whole whole band only rehearsed together the day before the actual concert. So it's an amazing achievement. Um, lots of pictures here that you haven't seen already, but most most of them you have. This DVD set is excellent, by the way. What it comes with is uh, the, the film, and then there's a there's an extra DVD of extras about the, the makings of the making of it and um, a, a few interviews with some of the people that were still alive in 2005 so definitely well worth worth having the DVD deluxe box <laughs> Everything's got a deluxe box these days, hasn't it? Um, finally, I thought I'd just show you my my single of Bangladesh, which I got sometime in the seventies. Not obviously not when it first came out because I was too young, and I'd probably never even heard of George Harrison when this came out. Uh, Deep Blue on the B side, which was actually considered as a song for the set. For the concert of Bangladesh, as was All Things Must Pass, but they probably thought that because a lot of people had died, All Things Must Pass was probably not an appropriate song um, to play at the concert of Bangladesh, so it was not included. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I ho really hope you all have a fantastic Christmas, and thank you so much, everyone that subscribed, for supporting this channel and helping getting it off, off the ground. So thanks very much for that. I really mean that. Okay, well, that's it. I'm done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Clicking the button over there. Give the video a like. And the next video is going to be my review of the year. Beetle review. Beatly Tones Beetle review of the year. Sounds good? Hope so. I'll see you there.